Have a look at this image. Do you like it? It seems quite a lot of people do, and that despite it not actually selling in any great numbers. It's actually one of my most stolen images, and today I will tell you why. At the end of the video, I will actually show you just how widespread that image theft is. My name's Jason Rowe. I'm a freelance travel stock photographer and videographer. And in this short series, I'm going to take you through some of my most stolen images. I'll tell you where they were posted, why and how they were stolen, and how you and I can deal with image theft. In the series, I'm going to analyse four different shots that represent my most stolen images. And to end, we'll look in detail at one of the several copyright enforcement sites that you can use to track down any image theft and act on them. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you find this video interesting or educational. So let's kick off with one of my most stolen images. It's this one and it's called A Sense of Scale. And in November 2013, I posted it to the image gallery site 500pixels.com. It was almost instantly starting to trend, and within an hour, it was 500 pixels top rated photo with a 99% rating and hundreds of comments. And of course, that's where the problem started. Despite the image license being listed as all rights reserved, the theft of it began almost instantly. Although 500 pixels disable right-click downloading, it's still very easy to screenshot and download any shot on that website. The first signs of how widespread this theft came was from Google reverse image search. If you've not used this tool before, you really should. It's, uh, it can be quite shocking how many of your images are being used around the world. And uh, if you'd like me to make a tutorial video about using Google image search to find your images, let me know in the comments below. The first offenders is often the case were wallpaper sites. These sites are where people upload images to use as Windows, Mac and smartphone wallpapers. They are basically a hive of copyright abuse where people upload other photographers' photos and the site's admins completely ignore the provenance of photos. Some claim to have a DMA system in place, but to be honest, they rarely enforce it. To be fair, if people just downloaded my images as wallpaper, I really wouldn't be that bothered. And I suspect a lot of other photographers would be pretty much the same as well. However, a lot of bloggers, small businesses and other sites turn to wallpaper sites to download images for their own sites. Once that happens, of course, the image theft spreads like wildfire. Within three weeks, a sense of scale was all over the internet. Its abuse was rampant and basically way beyond my control. I fired off DMCA notices where it popped up on social media. In particular, a Flat Earth Society page used it as proof of the Antarctic ice barrier. That kind of annoyed me, but the most annoying infringement was actually by a Turkish division of a very well-known 24-hour news site in the US who have used it without permission or credit on uh, one of their blog pages. Uh, that particular enforcement is being dealt with by CopyTrack, who are a dedicated copyright enforcement agency and who I sadly um, now use on an almost daily basis to track down copyright infringement. To be honest though, to date the TV news company have just basically been ignoring the uh, letters of copyright infringement from CopyTrack and that's been happening for over six months now. So as you can see, it's very easy for an image to spread around the world and its copyright be massively abused. And one of the reasons for this is the sheer ignorance of the general population when it comes to image rights. A large percentage of the internet community are of the mindset that if an image is online, it's free to use and will download it in complete ignorance of copyright law. There is a smaller subsection of that community that do actually understand the law, but are quite happy to stick two fingers up at it if it means they can get a cool image for free to use on their website or blog. Just how big that subsection of the community is can be seen from a troll through Google reverse image search. As you can see, this particular image, a sense of style, just goes on for pages and pages and pages and uh, beyond 20 pages of uh, Google reverse image search results. And, you know, that's basically unstoppable now. The advent of uh, copyright infringement agencies may start to put a dent in this. Um, 
at least in some of the attitudes in countries which have uh, strong copyright abuse laws. In a later video, we'll look at uh, some of the particular countries where copyright abuse is virtually unenforceable. But in countries in Western Europe, in the United States, Canada, um, some of the more highly developed legal systems, it's actually uh, quite an effective tool to track down and uh, recoup the losses of a copyright infringement. In the next video, we'll take a look at another way licensed images get opened up for image theft, namely through legitimate licensing on major websites. Look out for that video soon, but in the meantime, drop a comment if you've had any of your images stolen and let me know what you've been able to do about it, if at all anything. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and a subscription. And if you have photographer friends that might find this video useful, feel free to share with them. Look forward to seeing you again soon. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, and even better, a subscription. If you want to stay up to date when we publish new videos, ring the notifications bell. See you all again soon.